In this lesson, we're going to learn how to factor a trinomial that has a lead coefficient of something other than 1. In this case, the number 12. Remember, the lead coefficient is the number in front of x squared. When we've put the trinomial in order from greatest to least exponent. Now to do this, we're going to rewrite our trinomial by leaving off initially the lead exponent. And then when we get to this last one over here, this last number, we're going to multiply 12 times negative 6 and get negative 72. And we're going to put that right here. And now we're going to factor the new trinomial instead of our original one. That lets us factor a trinomial that has a lead coefficient of 1, so we can put x and x in those positions. Now we have to ask ourselves, what number can we multiply together that gives us 72, that we subtract those two numbers and get 1, which is the number in front of x? And those numbers would be 9 and 8. 9 times 8 is 72, 9 minus 8 is 1. And because this sign is negative, we put the negative sign in front of the big number, which is 9, and we put a, po a positive sign in front of 8. And anytime you have this negative in front of 72 or whatever the number is, that tells you they will always have opposite signs. Now we're not finished because we factored the new trinomial, not the original one. To finish, we now have to divide both the numbers, the 9 or the negative 9 and the 8, by 12, which was our original lead coefficient. And we need to go ahead and reduce those fractions that were formed. So 9 twelfths would reduce to 3 fourths, and 8 twelfths would reduce to 2 thirds. Now, this method that we're using to factor is called bottoms up because right now we take what's on bottom of the fraction and we move it to the front on each one of our factors and that becomes 4x minus 3. Do the same thing on the second factor. Move that up. That becomes 3x plus 2. And those are our factors for our original trinomial, 12x squared minus x minus 6. Let's take a look at a second example here. This time I'm going to uh, write this example. 2x squared plus 3x. Now let's make that minus 3x. and minus 20. So there's a trinomial, and this trinomial, like the one we just looked at a minute ago, has a lead coefficient other than 1. It's a 2. So we're going to rewrite, leaving off the 2. x squared minus 3x, and now multiply the 2 that we left off by the negative 20, and that gets us negative 40 right here. Okay, now we're going to factor that trinomial. So we're going to put x and x and ask, what do we multiply together to give us 40 that we subtract to give us 3? The obvious factors here, I think, are 8 and 5. 8 times 5 is 40, and 8 minus 5 is 3. Again, this sign tells us what the big one is. The big number is negative, so it goes with 8. The smaller number, the 5, gets a plus sign. They get opposite signs because of the negative in front of 40. Now, we have factored the new trinomial to get back to the original one. We divide by the lead coefficient, which was 2 in this case, way back up here. So now we go x minus, and when we reduce 8 over 2, it just becomes 4. There's nothing on bottom to even bring up. And if you'll notice, 5 over 2 is already reduced. So we can just bring it right up here, put it in front of x, and that will become 2x plus 5. And all of a sudden, we are finished factoring 
the original trinomial 2x squared minus 3x minus 20.